Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station update. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, which is led today by Flight Director Emily Nelson with Jack Fisher in the role of Capcom. On board the space station, the three members of Expedition 34 are more than halfway through their day, which began at 1 a.m. Central Time this morning currently orbiting 268 miles above the South Pacific Ocean and heading toward the coast of South America. They are Commander Kevin Ford of NASA and Russian flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Tarelkin. Ford, Novitsky, and Tarelkin have been at the space station since October 25th when their Soyuz TMA 06M vehicle docked to the Russian Poisk module. At the time, they were joining Sonny Williams, Aki Hoshide, and Yuri Malenchenko, who had been there since July. However, those three crew members left last month, and Ford, Novitsky, and Tarelkin have been alone at the station since then. That won't be the case for much longer, however. Next week, they'll be joined by the remainder of the Expedition 34 crew, Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency, Tom Marshburn of NASA, and Roman Romaninko of Russia. Hadfield, Marshburn, and Romaninko are scheduled to launch on December 19th at 6.12 a.m. Central Time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, and they're already there in Kazakhstan awaiting their departure. Today they've been brushing up on their launch to docking flight plan, but over the weekend they also took part in a traditional flag raising ceremony on the grounds of their crew quarters at the Cosmonaut Hotel in Baikonur. Hadfield, Marshburn, and Romaninko's Soyuz TMA-07M will be encapsulated in the upper stage of their Soyuz booster on Wednesday at the Baikonur Cosmodrome Integration Facility before the crew's final unsuited fit check dress rehearsal inside the Soyuz on Friday. Then the three stages of the Soyuz will be mated together on Sunday and the vehicle rolled out to the launch pad one week from today. Again, they're set to launch on December 19th and dock to the space station two days later. While they wait for the uh, rest of the crew's arrival, Ford, Torelkin, and Novitsky are keeping busy. In particular, Ford today has been spending time working with Robonaut 2, the crew's robotic crewmate. Robonaut came to the station on board Space Shuttle Discovery as part of the STS-133 mission in February of 2011. It's made its way through its initial checkout, and today was scheduled to do some work with its task board, working with three different types of valves, basically to check on its hand-eye coordination. Ford, who you can see here inside the Kibo Laboratory, was also uh, spending some time at the Aquatic Habitat, that's home of the space station's fish experiment. He was working to monitor its water quality and make sure that it's uh, providing a good home for those fish. And his Russian crewmates, uh, Tarelkin and Novitsky, were unpacking the Progress 49 vehicle and taking inventory of the Russian segment's tools and hardware. And for those interested in nitty-gritty space statistics, today also marks the four-year anniversary of the U.S. segment's waste and hygiene compartment, the space toilet. According to flight controllers, it's now been used more than 26,400 times. And that's what's been going on in space today. This is Mission Control Houston.